nightmares to some, and fascinating virtual specimens for others, the piranha plants have truly carved their name in stone within the grounds of the Mushroom Kingdom. Ranging from pyrokinetics and cannibals to motionless ambush predators, piranha plants have reserved their spot in Peach's Castle Hall of Infamy. I find them to be the most interesting regular grunt enemy in the Mario universe, greatly surpassing that of Goombas, Koopas, and even Boos. Its overall blueprints just dazzle with interesting inspirations from real-life biotic factors. But what exactly are those gorgeous building blocks? What are the blueprints behind their design and development? Shall we find out? Let's answer one question. What are Piranha Plants? At one simple glance, one can see that the piranha plants are strongly based off the Venus flytraps, a type of carnivorous plant native to the wetlands of northeastern South Carolina and southeastern North Carolina. The piranha plant has a pair of terminal lobes acting as the head. Now, the Venus flytrap also contains a pair of terminal lobes, which are concave inwards to create a trap for bugs to fall into. Piranha plant's terminal lobes are also concave inwards, which help it to eat any poor soul within its range. The lobes on the Venus flytrap are green on the exterior and red in the interior. Even though modern day piranha plant heads are mostly red all throughout, with a few white areas of course, Super Mario Bros. depicted them as having green exteriors with red interiors, more accurately resembling that of the Venus flytrap. VFTs have hair-like protrusions that act like cell bars to prevent the unfortunate prey from escaping. Similarly, the piranha plant has teeth too. Well, like most teeth, grip and hold flesh inside the mouth of the predator or human. Venus flytraps inhabit boggy wetlands in North and South Carolina. The soil in these areas are vastly lacking in nutrients, so plants needed to find an alternate route to absorbing nutrients. Here they notice these little creatures crawling on them. Insects. While there is no clear evidence on why piranha plants evolved into what they are now, for all we know, it could have just been Miyamoto magic, they do share similar habitats with the Venus flytrap. They originally resided exclusively inside pipes. And what exactly are pipes used for? Well, irrigation, plumbing, and many other uses that all have one thing in common, a function center around water. And on Yoshi's Island, some piranha plants inhabit inside the sewers that Yoshi enters from a pipe, further emphasizing their strong presence with wetlands. The whole factor of piranha plants spitting out flames may be related to the acids the Venus flytraps use to digest their prey. Either that, or it's more similar to the fiery nature of the piranha, the other creature it is named after. The piranha is an omnivorous freshwater fish that inhabits the rivers of South America, mainly located in the Amazon rainforest. Their most iconic physical trait are their razor-sharp teeth, which are used to aggressively attack their prey. Piranha plants also possess their own nasty dentures, which have been used to take a bite out of anything nearby. Despite all these congruent traits, unfortunately, as the franchise evolved, some of the initial traits started to fade. Piranha plants themselves are no longer exclusive to moist areas. See how now they thrive in caves, snowy mountains, and even lava and outer space. But even with that, one cannot deny the clever inspirations to help create one of Mario's biggest enemy staples. 